All right, today we are going to use our colored pencil techniques on our Frank Big Bear inspired artwork. First, you're gonna always write your name and your teacher's initial. You can do it on the front or the back. Now, this part is kind of fun. You're just going to draw some swirls that overlap and go around, go right off the page, loop-de-dupes, whatever you want. Now, I realized after I made mine, I probably made too many of them, so I would make yours maybe a little bit bigger and looser, but if you want to do it this way too, that's fine. Okay, so once you get your, your design, you're going to refer back to the different color uh, theories we learned. We learned about shade, tint, tricolor, where we had three different colors, and gradient, okay? So gradient actually refers to tint and shade. I'm going to start with gradient. Okay, so I picked up my color here, and I'm picking one shape that I just made out of these loop-de-dupes. And I'm going to color part of it dark and part of it light. So for this, I'm going to go from the outside dark. That's why I'm kind of outlining it. And then I'm going to gradually fill it in and get lighter and lighter as I get closer to the center because it has a different value in the center. Let me zoom in there so you can see. All right, so this is obviously sped up because I didn't want to make you watch me color the entire thing here. But I did want you to see the way I'm using the pencil because now my hand isn't pressing so hard. Do you see how it's lighter? So it's gonna get lighter and lighter here. And the effect we're going for is to make it look kind of smooth and seamless. So I can kind of see some of my lines still. So now I'm going back in and kind of cleaning it up, maybe coloring a little bit different direction to fill in some spaces and make it look like a smooth ombre effect. Somebody was bringing up ombre. Now I'm gonna try tricolor. So I picked out three colors and I'm going to do a new shape. All right, so basically I'm going to color dark with one shape, one, one color on one side of the shape, and then I'm going to gradually lift up my pencil and not press so hard. So I'm going to put less pressure as I get more towards the center of the shape, okay, because now I'm going to um, switch out colors and overlap on top of that. That's why I'm getting gradually lighter. Okay, so I've got my new color and I'm gonna start off pretty light and I'm going on top of the old color. That's how we're kind of blending them together. And as I move on with this color, I'm gonna get darker and darker. I'm having a little problem here with the uh, lead breaking on me though. So I'm gonna go darker and darker and then because I wanna switch to three, a third color, I'm gonna gradually go lighter again because I'm gonna layer another color in there. Okay, so I'm going to move on from the pink to the orange. Now I started on the other end of the shape here because that part's really dark. And so I'm going to go really dark orange, pressing um, harder. Or I could do this, build this up in layers actually would probably have been a better route now that I think about it. And I'm going lighter and lighter when I overlap there with the light pink. And I just go back and I try to fill things in. So that's an example of the tri-color. Okay, now let's take a look at shade. So shade is when we add black to something, to a color. So I'm going to do this shape right here. And I'm going to put my base layer of green down, and then I'm going to add the shading in after. So I'm not going to go super dark here, um, just kind of a base light layer. And now I'm going to decide where I want that shading to be. I can pick any side I want. I could go from all of the outside towards the inside, but this on this shape I'm going to just start at the top and work my way down. I'm really dark with the black at that top point, and then I'm slowly lifting my hand. I'm lighten, lighting, lightening the pressure with my hand, and just going back really soft here and blending it in. 
And now that I feel good about what I got for the black, I'm gonna go back in and add more of the green and do the same thing. I'll go a little darker at the bottom and then I'm lightening as I blend into that black to get that shade look. All right, so tint, tint is where we add white to a color. So I'm gonna experiment with this a little with the blue and I'm gonna put a really light layer of the blue and just gonna fill in the whole shape with just very lightly because I know that that white is gonna be hard to show up on here. But the good thing is we have white paper so that works to our advantage because it kind of peeks through and we can use that for some of our shading. So here I'm adding a layer of white on here and it kind of is changing the way the blue looks. I like to go in and add a little extra blue to the other side so it really makes that white side look really light. So giving all these different values to our picture are going to really add a lot of interest. Okay, instead of just coloring it in like a color sheet, we're really adding a lot of interest to our picture. So then I'm just going to go ahead and um, fill in the rest of my shapes using these techniques. What I really would like to see is at least two of these techniques in yours, okay? So here I'm doing with the black, I'm doing um, a gradient, okay? Of course, this is sped up really fast now, but I just wanted to give you an idea um, how to fill in all your shapes and your colors. This project will probably take uh, at more than one day. This took me probably two class periods to do, so don't worry about it getting done the first day. As long as you're spending your time on it, you should get it done in time, okay? So I jumped ahead now to finishing the whole thing. This is my last shape, and I'm gonna fill it in for you so you can see the final product here. Okay, so this is my Frank Big Bear inspired colored pencil artwork. Choosing my last two colors. Sorry about the shaky camera here. Just gonna fill that in and blend those two colors together. This is like the tricolor, but it's actually only would be like bi color because I only have two of them. So I'm going back in and kind of lightly blending the two colors and there is my final picture.